kem kumare ngape sande ya ya gan and i'm so happy it's sunday wow we are in the month of april and this is the time of testimonies okay yeah it's the time of, you know what you believe is what you get understand if what you believe is what you get if you believe you can make it you will make it if you, you believe you can't make it then you can't let me tell you this is the sunday morning and i want to tell you a wonder of god and we pray and say thank you god for your time today i'm gonna i'm gonna read psalms 104 that is if you are not going to church this will help you one of four us but that the three to that form. Hmm? That is what I'm going to read for you. And it says, I will sing to the Lord. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praise to my God where I have been. My, may my meditation be praising to him, for I rejoice in the Lord. Amen. That is me. We saying that I'm telling you, I'm thankful for what God has done. I'm thankful for this morning. I'm thanking to wake up and be strength, have strength. I'm, I'm, I have strength and I'm air breathing. And I'm so, so happy that I can tell you something. If you have not gone to church, it's good to read your Bible and it will give you, you'll be like, you're going to church. That's why I said, I'm going to do this before our, after I wake up because today is the time for resting the way Jesus says Sunday is the time for rest don't do anything even if you do just be rest yeah as we amen we do a lot but thank God it forgives us because we have to do a lot even Sundays some are even working on Sundays you know even if Jesus God said <laughs> seven days for resting but that was for God you know as we amen because he said we are we will eat the sweat of our hand. So that's why we also work on Sundays. But God doesn't cast that day. It's because he knows we have to get money. And that is why we are working. Okay. I'll read another one for you. Um, uh, Psalm 7, verse 4, 16 and 17. I'll read for you. It says, For the arms of the wicked shall be broken, but the Lord uphold the righteous. The Lord knows the days of the brimless and the eighteenth will remain forever. Praise God. If you know that and you're Christian, don't worry about anything. God is going to give you the, the strength and you will not abandon you. And somebody who is making you miserable, somebody who is troubling you, God will punish them. Don't worry. God knows. You know, and this, I said, patient pays. Patient pays. Pay. Wait. You don't know the time of God. God knows. If he bless you too fast, you forget that God has done it for you. If you be blessed, you, you forget that it's God who has done it. So that way, some blessing take times. Some miracles take times. And that's what I'm telling you this morning. Don't be discouraged if it happens to someone else. Or somebody else is moved up and something has happened. They have they are been blessed. Or they, have, they, are, they have been successful. You don't know how they become that successful. Wait on your time and be patient on God. Wait on the God for you shall be blessed. That is what the Bible says. Wait on God and don't fail to ask what you need because God is going to give you. This morning, this Sunday, I'm telling you this. If you have not gone to church and you wonder what you do, listen to this. It will give you some encouragement because there's a only way you can do. Because God says there's nothing which goes empty-handed to God. Even if people see that it's nothing, God knows what is in the future. God knows we are doing His work, and I'm, that's why I'm not. Uh, I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed. I feel good because I know God has an easy purpose for my life, and He knows what I need. And that's why I'm. I'm I started this journey in December, and I know God will do something about it. And if it blesses you, keep in touch and always come by you'll be blessed something for you there's always something for someone and i'm telling you this morning it's sunday and we are blessed you know where i am it's uh, let me tell you something you never know the god you know it says in i'm gonna read for you it's proverbs 16. i'm gonna read you proverbs 16 so you can understand the plans of the man 
I'm going to read Proverbs 16, verse 1. It says, The plans of the heart belong to the man, but the answer of the tongue is from the Lord. All the ways of a man is praying in his own heart, but the Lord with the Spirit. Commit your works to the Lord, and your plan will be established. So whatever you do, remember, six, Proverbs 16, what it says, you will do, do anything what you are writing is thinking or whatever you're running the answer is from god and god knows what is up to you god knows commit everything you have everything you're doing to god he will give you the rest he'll give you the comfort because he's never delayed he's never forsaken us and he's always there to protect us yes jesus died on the cross to make our sins go away to make things easier and since jesus came things changed the way things were in the past they never happen again so that's why i believe in jesus and i believe in the son of god and I, nobody can take out of that for me he, nobody can tell me otherwise because i know he died on the cross for my sins and he lives in this he lives in the he lives in the hand of god and he always there to give me that name everything i'm asking he shall give it to me and that is why i'm so happy because god has never abandoned me he has never left me he is always there when i seek him you know if you have ordered god he will not come to rescue you and but until you call on him that's why he comes and rescue you that's why i'm telling you this sunday morning you should always trust in god don't doubt whatever you are if like this uh, i'm gonna read you um psalms 55 and it says uh, number four to five. I will read number four to six. My heart is anguishing within me. The terror of the dead are falling upon me. Fear the trembling come upon me, and all are overwhelm me. And I say, Oh, that I had wings like a dove, dove, I will fly away to be at rest. Yes, I would wander from far away. I would lodge in the wilderness. And then number verse 22 says, Cast your burden on the Lord, and he will sustain you. You will never permit the righteous to be moved. Praise God. So be strong because you know God is at the heart. He is quick to rescue you no matter what. That is the one for God for me today. And I know you'll be blessed if you want to read that. Just come back, read that, watch again, and you'll find out what you have to read to gain that. And God is going to bless you. That's why I tell you, read the Bible every day. Don't don't wait for people to tell you what to read. Read your Bible yourself and you understand it. And if you don't understand it, don't read it like a book. It's the word of God and it's the Holy Book. So ask the Holy Ghost to guide you, to, to make you understand what you are reading. And I'm so happy that God gave me that wisdom to understand the Bible. And I'm so happy that I can tell you a word of it. And listen, patient pays and you will find out that soon. And I was talking about the, the weather today. The weather today, it's it should be sun because we are in spring. But I'm telling you, it is winter. It's it's like it's, it's snowing. You can check it off. I can check it. I can show you. I can show you I've gone to change these things. I can show you outside. See? See that? You see? It's snowing. So nobody knew it would be snowing. Nobody knew it I've been here for, for, for some time, for two years or three years, but it has never been like this. So nobody can explain, but let me tell you what God plans, nobody can know. God can change. What God can do, no man can do. Let me tell you, as the weather changes, because there's a day it was so sunny, it was almost fourteen degrees. It was I thought it would never change again. But after that day, it has never been so hot again. It has been cold like in, in winter days. Let me tell you, God can change the situation. It doesn't matter what and it is. As this, have you, you have seen the snow outside. That's how God will change your life like that. Like completely change. And that is how you'll be blessed. Let's pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I come before you this morning. I glorify your name, mighty God. I say thank you for this wonderful day you've given to us. Thank you, Father, for you have shown us that you can change by just instant. It can be snowing. At the time, it can be sunny. It can be winter. It can be every time. It can be, it is weedy. My Father, no one knows how it happens because only you knows 
everything in this world, everything you know, everything is upon you to know what happens and what is happening. Father, I know you're going to read us, you're going to protect us, you're going to give us, you are going to give us the strength to carry on and you're going to cover us with your blood. I ask you covering us by the blood of Jesus. Cover us with the blood of Jesus. Whenever you are walking, whenever you are touching my Father, let your blood cover us. Let your protection be God on us wherever we go. Whatever we touch, whatever we feel, whoever we meet my father let them be protected by the blood of jesus so that there's no corona upon them whoever trusts in you to have god there will be no corona there will be no corona violence in their body because god did trust in you jesus as the weather changes my father you will change this world because you are the one who created this you know the purpose do not let this human being destroy the world you created oh jesus do not them decide for these people do not them decide for us oh jesus may you do something still the people who are making be the they are the one who are the owner of this world, Almighty oh God. Do something about them so they can know Jesus. Oh God, you are still the ruler of this kingdom. You are ruler of this world. You are ruler of every place in this world. You created it, my Father, and you shall know the decision to make in this world. Father, take control, Jesus. Take control. Take control, my Father. And I pray that you are going to do something, and we shall testify what of this of your one. Thank you, Jesus, because you are going to do something. Thing. I pray for the miracle, Jesus. Somebody is waiting for the miracle to have a future, to have a bright future, to have something they have been waiting for years. Father, do that for me, them as you do for me. Do that for me, oh Jesus. Do for them too so that they can glorify and testify. One of this of your one. Thank you, Jesus, because we're going to do it and they shall testify and they shall know Jesus. If they, try, they rely on you and they call on your name with belief, they will give it, get it, and let them be patient and wait on you, oh Jesus. Thank you very much. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. May your name be blessed forever in Jesus' mighty name.